Welcome to Ritz Biology. Today we will learn about kingdom fungi. They are heterotrophs, means they cannot make their own food. They can be saprophytes, which absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrates, or can be parasites, which depend on living plants and animals for their food, or can be symbionts live in association with algae as lichens and roots of higher plants as mycorrhiza. They grow in warm and humid places. Also can grow on moist bread and rotten fruits. Mushrooms, toadstools are also fungi. These are multicellular fungi. Unicellular fungi also exist, which is yeast used to make bread and beer. So they are helping us. That means they are good fungi. There are also some bad fungi which harm us by causing some disease. Paxenia, which cause wheat rust disease in wheat plant. Also, some fungi can be source of antibiotics like penicillin found from penicillium. Their structure Fungi are filamentous, consist of long, slender, thread like structure known as hyphae. Many hyphae join and make a network like structure known as mycelium. Some hyphae are continuous tubes filled with multinucleated cytoplasm, sinocytic hyphae. Others have septi or cross walls in their hyphae. Fungi cell wall is made up of chitin and polysaccharides like plant cell wall is made up of cellulose and bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan all of different structures then their reproduction and their reproduction is done by three kinds the first vegetative reproduction done by fragmentation fission and budding asexual reproduction done by spores mainly conidia or sporangiospores or zoospores. Sexual reproduction is done by oospores, ascospores, and basidiospores. These spores produce in distinct structure known as fruiting bodies. Fungi's sexual life cycle has three steps. In first, fission of protoplasm between two motile or non-motile gamete occurs, and that is known as plasmogamy. In second, Fusion of two nucleocars, that is, karyogamy. And in third, meiosis occurs in zygote, resulting in haploid spores. Let's have a detailed account on sexual reproduction in fungi. When a fungus reproduces sexually, two haploid hyphae of compatible mating types come together and fuse. In some fungi, fusion of two haploid cells immediately result in diploid cells, 2 in chromosome number. In other fungi like ascomycetes and basidiomycetes, an intervening dikaryotic stage occurs, which is N plus N, 2 nuclei per cell stage. This condition is dikaryon, and the phase is dikaryophase. This is a transition phase. Later, parental nuclei fuse and cells become diploid. Fungi from fruiting bodies in which reduction division occurs and forms haploid spores. Morphology of mycelium, mode of spore formation, and fruiting bodies classified fungi kingdom into various classes. So, fungi kingdom is subdivided into four different types phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, and deuteromycetes. Let's start with phycomycetes. They live in aquatic habitats on decaying wood in moist, damp places or as obligate parasites on other plants. Their mycelium is accepted and sinocytic with many nucleus. Their asexual reproduction is done by zoospores, which is motile, can move, or by aplanospores, non-motile can't move. 
These spores are produced in sporangium. A zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes. These are similar in morphology, isogamous, or can be dissimilar, anisogamous or vogamous. Some examples of eicomycetes are mucor, rhizopus, bread mold, or albugo, parasitic fungi on mustard. Then the next one, the ascomycetes. They are also known as sac fungi. They are mostly multicellular, like penicillium, or rarely unicellular, yeast. They are saprophytic decomposers, parasitic, or can be coprophilus, growing on dung. Their mycelium is branched and septed. Asexual spores of them are conidia produced exogenously on special mycelium called conidiophores. Conidia on germination produce mycelium. Sexual spores of them are ascospores produced ex endogenously in sac-like ASCII, in singular ascus. ASCII are arranged in different fruiting bodies known as ascocarps. Some example of them are Aspergillus, Claviceps, and Neurospora. Neurospora is extensively used in genetic work in mutant studies, so it is very, very important for geneticists. Morels and truffles are edible ascomycetes. The third one are the basidiomycetes. Mushrooms, bracket fungi, or purples are members of them. They grow on soil, on logs and tree stems, and in living plant bodies like parasites, in form of rust and smut. Their mycelium is branched and septed. Their vegetative reproduction is done by fragmentation. Plasmogamy is brought about by fusion of two vegetative or somatic cells of different strains or genotypes, then resulting structure, structure is dicaryotic. This ultimately gives rise to basidium. Then, karyogamy and meiosis take place in basidium, producing four basidiospores. Basidiospores exogenously produced on basidium, in plural, basidia. Basidia are arranged in fruiting bodies known as basidiocarps. Some examples of them are Agaricus or mushroom, Urgiago, smut, and Paxinia, rust. Smut and rust cause disease to the plants, so they are harmful. The last one are the deuteromycetes. They are imperfect fungi because only asexual or vegetative phase of them are known. Sexual stages of members are moved to ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. They only reproduce by asexual spores known as conidia. Their mycelium is septed and branched. Some of the saprophytes or parasites, large number of them are decomposers of litter, help in mineral cycling, keeping the ecosystem balanced. Examples of deuteromycetes are Ortoneria, Coletotrichum, and Trichoderma. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Comment what you have learned today. If you like Reads Biology, don't forget to subscribe. Next day, coming with part 4. Till then, take care and bye.